Welcome to Gotta Run. This is Will Sanchez. My special guest tonight is Michael Oliva. Michael is a long distance runner. He's one of the co-founders of the very popular holiday marathons, and he's also leading currently the charge to save to Putnam Trail. We're going to cover all those topics and much more. So please welcome Michael to the show. Thanks for having me. Man. What is Save the Putnam Trail about? Mm -hmm. The Putnam Trail is a 1.5 mile, uh, it exists now as a dirt trail through Van Cortlandt Park. It starts at the Westchester County border and runs south from there for 1.5 miles. Um, and it, that's how it exists. It's dirt right now. It was a, it used to be a railroad line way back um, mm -hmm. in the early 1900s. Um, it was abandoned in the 50s. Uh, so the Parks Department unveiled a plan to pave the Putnam Trail, and uh, it's currently about eight feet wide, the Putnam Trail. So the Parks unveiled a plan to pave it with asphalt and to double that width from eight to 16 feet. So Michael and I, there was extreme opposition uh, within the local community to this. And uh, you know, this had been, the plan had been going on for a couple of years. Um, so last year, Mike and I said, you know, all this opposition exists, you know, why don't we, formalize it and uh, start a campaign to save this trail. You know, our goal was, you know, not to kill the project, but we wanted to keep the trail at its current eight foot width and to have it improved with a stone dust, pro uh, stone dust surface, mm -hmm. similar to what exists around the reservoir in Central Park. Mm -hmm. That's the type of surface, you know, it fits with the natural environment okay. of Van Cortlandt Park. And we unveiled this campaign to challenge the Parks Department and to uh, gather a voice for people's opinions in the community. And uh, the Parks Department didn't really like us challenging their position, and uh, that's when all the problems started. Yes, it's so sad to hear that uh, that, that started it. Uh, I'm, I'm a member, as you know, the community board in the Upper East Side, and mm -hmm. I know that the, the usual way is that the public must be informed of these type of changes and have an opportunity to comment. And the way to work through it is through the community board. Have you had an opportunity to go in front of the community board to present the, all, the other case? Throughout this whole process, people did voice their opposition within the community board. Unfortunately, the community board voted to approve Parks' plan. W one problem here, too, is, and that what we have seen is that Parks, they basically provided false information to the community board. They, um, two points of information which altered the community vo uh, board's vote were, one was, Parks Department explicitly stated to the community board that stone dust, the stone dust trail in Van Cortlandt Park on the Putnam would not be wheelchair accessible. This is just completely untrue. It's 100% false. There's stone dust trails that exist all over the country. The reservoir, I see people there saunter on wheelchairs. Oh yeah, and it's, it meets the guidelines. It's 100% uh, ADA, American with Disabilities Act accessible. So. Parks is, and there, I think Parks is still standing by this uh, false statement. So that's one. So the community board is voting on false information, which is, you know, makes uh, an honest vote very difficult. And the second piece of information, of false information that Parks conveyed to the community board, they said uh, the funding source, it, most of the funds to pave the Putnam Trail are coming from federal funds. Um, well, most of the funds to implement Parks' proposal is coming from federal funds. Mm -hmm. And the Parks Department stated that a requirement of those federal funds, uh, a mandate of them, was that the path be asphalt hmm. pavement. And this is another statement. It's completely 100% false. There's trails built all across the country using the same exact funding, and they're built with stone dust surfaces. So Probably, parks basically, like you said, the reservoir was done with federal funding. I, I'm not. I don't I know. I don't know the specifics of the reservoir trail either, so I, I can't answer that. But I, I could list 20 examples of stone dust trails across the country. So it's unfortunate. Everybody that voted on this proposal throughout the process was voting on lies and false information provided by the Parks Department. Well, some of this, you guys didn't get the opportunity. You came in too late to mm -hmm. get in front of the community board to present the other side. Mm -hmm. And so they already voted. Yeah, that, w that was one of the problems. You know, all along, our hope was that we, we never thought Parks would come out with a proposal that asked for asphalt payment. Pavement. We 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 kind of laid back and we said they they're going to have to do the right thing. I mean the community doesn't want asphalt pavement, so we were waiting, 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 and for the proposal to come out. And it all happened very quickly. They proposed pavement. We were all shocked. And then before we knew it, um, they were pushing that 
pavement proposal uh, forward, even though there was local opposition and comments against yeah, pavement. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, the community board never got to, apparently never got to hear the full story. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what we can do about that. But Mike, thank you so much for coming in. We are out of time, mm -hmm. but uh, I want to commend you with your work with Achilles International. Hopefully, the holiday marathons will come back stronger and bigger. Um, and it sounds like the runners are there of interest because they showed up without any publicity through <laughs> the local media, just through Facebook and uh, social media. And, uh, <clears throat> and we see what, how we can help on the, uh, the Putnam Trail. How can the people who are interested in, in learning more about the Putnam Trail as we wrap up? Sure, yeah, we have a, a website, savetheputnamtrail.com. And we currently have a petition going, and it's not just a sign your name petition. We ask you to leave your comments on why you think um, keeping the trail stone dust is a great idea. And there's a about a thousand signatures on it right now. So people, please go to savetheputnamtrail.com and sign your name onto the petition. And uh, write your elected officials, especially Mayor Bloomberg. You know, with enough public support, uh, the Parks Department is going to have to eventually listen, bend to the will of the community. We hope. <laughs> we hope. We'll, we'll see what happens. Well, we'll work with some other uh, activists, see what we can do. But thank you again, Mike. Thank you, Will, for having me. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure. It. Yeah, thank you.